Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we should be showing you how to set up on a domain server where you have workstations connected to the Active Directory domain where you can then basically offer remote assistance without them having to kind of like do any settings and set up on their workstation. So we're going to use group policy and we're going to use Active Directory computers and users and then just a little bit of PowerShell. Okay, the first thing is you need to actually have computers and the users set up in Active Directory users and computers. Okay, we have got them in here. It's just a demo machine, okay, the user is there, their computer is there. When they first join the domain, the computers generally go over there, we just moved it to this box. The reason why is because we are going to add a group policy or a couple of group policies to this organizational unit so it's easier for us rather than giving it to all computers we can select which computers we want to use okay so that's the first thing we've got our user set up we've created a user and the computer when they joined we moved it from there to there okay the next thing we need to do is get to group policy okay now, in group policy, you'll see we've got that organizational unit there. All we did was basically create a GPO in this domain, okay, and we called it remote assistance. Then we right-clicked and enforced it, and then clicked on edit. Now, for all the computers and users that will be within this monitored, you can give it any name you want, okay, your organizational unit. The first thing is we need to do is set up the group policies for remote assistance. So we click on policies, go to administration, administrative templates, then system, scroll down a bit, and we should see remote assistance. Then we have configure offer remote assistance, click enabled. And then this is where it's very, very important because you don't want anybody just being able to log on. So what we did was we entered in here, okay? This is our domain name and then backslash domain admins, okay? You could change the users. You could add different kinds of users if you want. We've kept it as only domain admins can actually access that. So you do need to set up that. The next thing is, if you scroll down here, you will see for Windows Vista and later, you do need to set up some group policies regarding the firewall. So that's quite easy. What we did was just copy this and then put it into a notebook, notepad, so it's easier, then cancel that. Let's just do the other thing whilst we're here. Configure solicited remote assistance, enable that, and you can choose the number of hours per session, etc. the admin will have before he needs to reconnect. It can be one hour, two hour, three hours, whatever is good for your company. Okay, so we enable that. That's what we did. And now there's another group policy that you might want to consider. I'll just maximize this and bring this out over here and it is basically go to policies and then it's Windows settings and then security settings local policies and then it is security options scroll all the way down until you find user ac account control allow you IA access. Tick that box, click enabled, click OK. That's done. So these are the three things. Now, whilst we're here, we can then create our firewall exceptions. That'll be automatically pushed onto those domain join workstations. 
So we just find Windows Firewall. There we go. And we need to create a few inbound rules. The simple method is right click, new rule, and we need to do our three things, okay? So the first one was a port. So we click on port, click next, and then it was TCP and 135. Click next, allow the connection, click next, for the domain, private, public, whatever is needed, and then give it any name you want, and then click finish. We did that for basically our three things that were required. Okay, you will see over here there is twice of that. One gets created automatically when we add the role, but we've created these things over there. Okay, so then you do another two more, new rule, and now this time it's a program, click next. So then the next thing is basically copy that, paste that in there. As I said, if you ever get lost, go back into that group policy thing and you'll find the three things that you need. Okay, click next, allow the connection, again choose for which types, give it a name, click finish. And then once again do it for the last thing. So you must have those three things there. Once that's done, we need to open up PowerShell, very easy, just go over here, run Windows PowerShell, run it as administrator, and then we're basically gp update forward slash force. Click enter, yep, you need to spell it correct. Right, once that's done, and assuming the user is logged in and in front of their computer screen, okay, and they're having some problems, they've called you up, they've sent you an email, this is not working or whatever, then all you need to do is msra and then offer ra, click enter, and then if you've connected to them before, you'll have a history. Okay, this is the computer we want to, or you type in the IP address or their computer name. Click next, and then it'll say, okay, we're waiting for the user to give their permission. Okay, and you'll see this little box come up on their screen. They would need to click yes. And then now, if we go back to our computer, our server, you'll see basically their desktop in your side. Here we go, we've got our remote assistant set up. Now you can request control. They will get another message. That's one of the things about this thing. They need to be giving permission, okay? For legal reasons, you don't want to be monitoring without permission, you don't want to be changing their system settings, etc. without the permission whilst they're logged on. Now, you could try and click yes over here, it's not going to work. On their screen, they need to click yes, given permission. So now, basically, there we are. You can then, from your server side, be changing settings, changing system settings, etc. And then you could be chatting with them, okay. Hi, this does not work, etc. Okay. And they'll get messages and then you ch chat back and forwards, etc. Okay. If the user ever wants to stop sharing, they just click over here, stop sharing, stop giving control, etc. And that would be the end of it. Just a quick refresher for those who might want to know where was the Active Directory users and computers, etc. Just open up Server Manager, which is here. Go to Server Manager, click on that. Go to Tools, and then you've got Active Directory users and computers there. And then Group Policy Management is there. 
for the role that we need to have. So add roles and features. And then next. And it's under features. Once you've done a few more next. And it's this remote assistance. You need to take that and install it. You don't need to restart the computer after doing that. It just needs to be installed. Otherwise, you won't be able to get that MSRA forward slash offer RA. So in a nutshell, this is how it is done. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.